I'm Chloe for My TV, and we're at Sliding Rock Creek. Um, you have brought your students, your sixth grade students, to Sliding Rock Creek. What are they studying? Well, good morning, Chloe. We are so fortunate to have Sliding Rock Creek and Sliding Rock Creek Park so close to our school. It's less than a 10 minute walk. So we are able to study the water, the chemistry of the water, the organisms in the water, and the plants and animals that live here. Is this the first time they've been here? No, it is not. We came in the fall a couple of times and the seventh graders did some chemical analysis with some very cool digital probes attached to their graphing calculators. And we looked at the chemistry the pH, the turbidity, oxygen levels, and they also collected microorganisms that we took back to the room to look at. And then our sixth graders came and collected some specimens and we saw crawfish and we saw fish and other kinds of invertebrates here. Why are the students measuring the creek? I'm glad you asked that. Today we've come down and we're integrating with math. And so we're making a scale drawing of the creek. Then we'll take it back to the school and we will integrate with the art department and we're going to scale it back up and it will be about three meters long, about one meter wide, and we will decide, we haven't yet, on how we're exactly going to build this model, cover it with acrylic and put it on the wall. What type of learning strategies or tools or lab skills are they using? Oh, this is so wonderful that we have this outdoor laboratory. We are able to look at the water and um, we are able to take samples back. We are able to integrate with other subjects. It's also very important that we study the history of the Reedy River. And because we're in a neighborhood that borders our school and the Reedy, the Sliding Rock Creek runs between, we're both invested. And we can take a look at any impact that our human environment has on the water that flows into the creek. Um, why is this better than a classroom project? You just can't replicate this in a classroom. You just can't get out here and find real populations and really get to know to the native plants that grow here. And the runoff that we talk about in science class, we can actually see the impact. And today we walked down and saw where there'd been some clearing away of land for it looks like a house to be built. And it was a very big difference from what we had seen in the fall. And we're going to see if clearing this land has had any impact or any effect on any kinds of substances that might have flowed into the creek. What are some of the long-term goals of this project? I'm so glad you asked me that, Chloe. I was fortunate enough to be awarded a $5,000 grant with the South Carolina Soil and Water Conservation District, as well as the Southeast um, Environmental Association. And together, we are going to take a look at um, what kinds of chemicals flow into the water. And so we're gonna use our model throughout the years as we collect data, we can place it, we can use GPS coordinates and find specific locations along the Reedy and we can be collecting data regarding those things we talked about, the chemical analysis, the pH turbidity, and we can post that information, that data on our acrylic wall mount. We would also very much like to take a look at what we can do about the erosion on the stream bank and how perhaps plants can help prevent pollution in runoff from entering the water. So we'd like to have a planting day. The students in the fall are going to design a plan for the plants. They're gonna plant native plants that they have investigated that would grow well in this area. And then they will make a presentation to the neighborhood association. And we'd love to have a planting day with the neighborhood and it will be a lot of fun. And in the future, perhaps we will identify some of these plants and um, maybe we'll find some other interesting things that we can build signs for. And um, maybe there'll even be a place to build some steps in for um, areas in the bank that are a little less accessible. Do you have any questions for me, Miss Carney, as a student? I do, I love to get feedback and, and want to know how the students are experiencing this. So what have you enjoyed most about our trips here? I enjoyed when we came in the fall and got to look at all the different animals because I really like biology, but I also like being able to measure the creek and figure out how to make a scale model. 
And you asked me before how this was different from the classroom. How do you feel that this is different from being in a classroom? I enjoy being outside. I just like being outside. And also, we tried to do it in the classroom, and it didn't work as well because it was a really small space, and I just enjoy being outside. Thank you for being able to do this interview with me today. Oh, it's been my pleasure. And we should probably get back and do some more of that measuring. From Sledding Rock Creek, this has been Chloe and Miss Carney for MyTV.